Good morning. <laughs> I'm using my iPad, I don't know which is because the camera's set to one side. Uh, anyway, it's accents. My accent is from uh, Yorkshire. I mean, I've got a Yorkshire accent and it's uh, from Sheffield. And we do speak a little bit different when we get going to the other people in Yorkshire. But basically it's a Yorkshire accent. And uh, like it's not, I, I haven't really changed it. I have changed it a little bit. I've, I talk slower when I'm doing things like this. But if I talk to relatives, it changes a little bit and uh, people find it difficult to understand, especially Americans. Uh, but I, like people say, you've still got your accent and I, I don't see any reason why I shouldn't still have my accent. Uh, I once met this guy in London and he was a friend of mine and he's, he had three, there were three, three boys and one girl and three of the boys went to university Two boys and one girl went to university and the other boy went in the army. Now, the only one that didn't change his accent because they come from, uh, I think, the Ipswich... Anyway, in the, in the country, in the countryside, in the Fens, uh, the east of England. And, uh, and they all lost their accents, basically because they didn't want to sound like a clod when they went to university. But the brother, he, did, he joined the army, so he kept his accent because these obviously there's nothing wrong with you losing your accent and uh but i'm on one day i met with i met with him and his friend he was he was a cockney and he had a cockney accent as strong as anything and he went to oxford university and he never lost his accent which i thought was amazing it's such a strong character to go there amongst you know people with poncy accents and he just kept his cockney accent you know, so I thought that was very uh, cool of him. But like I said, when, but like in England, usually people mimic each other's accents, and I I like uh, I like Geordie accent and the Cornish accent. I think they they're great. I love those accents. And uh, but when a, a London guy used to work with us in Sheffield, everybody was like, you know, people just can't help it. They have to mimic accents. And like, yeah, they got me one day because he would probably had years and years of everybody mimicking his accent. But I had the same thing when I went to London and everyone was mimicking my accent, you know. So, but like, that was only 10 months, so it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. You just managed, you just ignore it. But, but I have kept my accent and it is a Yorkshire accent, should any uh, American viewers be watching. And uh, I am from England. Anyway, that's my two penneth on accents. Bye-bye.